All right, folks, God bless you guys, and welcome to This Is It, 4, 3, 2, 1. Before the fire, let's go, guys. You know it's coming, don't you? The Bible says I will destroy root and branch. The fire that's coming is going to destroy everything. Um, I want you just to take a little look on your screen for a second. Let's take a moment. I had to come out here tonight and do this video. Uh, I was pretty wiped out, tired. And I said, I've got to get out here. I've got to show you what the Lord showed me. I have to show this to you. You have to see it. Have you ever noticed that sometimes one single word can make something in the Bible come alive and become so much more real? And you know what? At the same time that the Lord was giving me that one single word, and this is not for me. This is for y'all, for everyone out there that's watching. If you want to make this real, you want this this whole thing to come alive for you, to wake up, so to speak. Arise, O sleeper, wake up from the dead, and Christ will give you light. The Lord gave me one word that was so important, and then he gave me the video clip that my jaw just, what? Let me make this real for you. Okay, guys, <clears throat> you know what? I'm going to grab a folder called Locus, 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 and I'm just going to go through about five pictures really fast, and then we're going to come back to this and this scripture. We'll come back to it in just a minute. One moment. Okay, I'm just going to make this a super quick zoom through. You can go look at it yourself, but let me just remind you of all the many things that we've seen. You've seen that in the Da Vinci Code where the A and the V are in opposition to each other, and the real understanding of the whole movie is to really understand that. Um, then you have the 2020 dating commercial where Satan goes and meets the girl on a date, and his phone says, you have a match, and they meet under an archway that's a like a beehive. It's no different than the Vatican. It's the same exact thing. And he goes and meets his date, and it says, you have a match, but she's an insect. Um, you have the movie and the you have the movie Prometheus, where the guy he gets infected by that other race of beings and he has a worm in his eye. So that's the close up of his eye that he's looking at in the mirror, and there's a worm in it. Now don't forget the Bible says, I will restore to you the years the canker worm has eaten. Uh then you have the Canadian $20 silver piece that's a bug hatching from a chrysalis and the insect's reflection is a human, which is very interesting. It's kind of like backwards if you think about it, but it's perfect. Here's a Lady Gaga impersonator in a D. Anford video birthing a locust or a Jerusalem cricket, as the case may be. Uh, here is a Michelangelo carving from the Medici Castle. Uh, you might want to go look up the trailer for Serpent Queen on Netflix. The Serpent Queen, uh, Catherine de' Medici. Uh, it said, pretty much shows you everything in the trailer. But there's a worm coming out of the neck. Here's a girl's prom dress that is a bug. There's the eye. There's the eye out where her breasts are and the mandibles down here. Obviously, it's just a perfect beast face. Here's the corner post of the Vatican uh, that is, among other things, it is a head of a locust, and it because it's also the dragon with an open mouth. So you have all these ad infinitum over and over female that are related to insects. So here is the 2020 dating. You have a match. You're a match. And there's the insect. And there's Satan. And it crosses over. And I showed you already. He went to meet her. But then you have the altar in the Vatican right here where the whole thing is an insect. That being the eye, eye, antenna, the mandibles, and a penis going in the mouth of the insect. Here's an insect. So you can just 
slide it right over. And here's the girl from the 2020 dating commercial. And the inference in every single thing I've shown you is insect and related to this female thing. And now I want to move on with what I'm showing you. Have you ever looked at the the beards that they put on uh, the uh, the hieroglyphs or the sarcophaguses? I wonder if that's the plural form of sarcophagus. Sarcophagi. <laughs> on the sarcophaguses of the pharaohs, they gave them this just really freaky beard. It always annoyed me. And I was like, what? Why would they have such a weird? It's got to mean something. The other night, I was just praying and I pulled up YouTube and I was talking to the Lord and then out of nowhere the Lord took me to Mark chapter 9 which I've shown you guys where Jesus is speaking guys this is so important now I started this by saying is there ever a time where you've seen one word one word that just makes your brain snap and go whoa wait a minute I'll tell you what one of those words for me was in Genesis 1 when the Lord God showed me. And God said, let us make man in our image. The Lord told me, look up the word image in its original language. And when I looked up the word image, it was salam. And the word salam means a phantom, an illusion, a representative figure, especially an idol. And I was like... What? And that's when the Lord revealed to me, Jonathan, Genesis 1, they've been teaching it wrong on purpose. I'm like, I had to struggle with it. But then the Lord started giving me so much data. Look up the word God. The word God is not the Lord God. It's Elohim. Elohim said, let us make man in our vain show let us make man in our representative figure especially an idol elohim said let us make man as a phantom image well that's not the lord god i mean anybody who would have a brain would be like what that's right the lord god doesn't even come into genesis 2 so who's elohim so way back when the Lord revealed that to me, man, I took so much fire. I was so many false prophet hunters. Oh, Clex, oh, and bruise it, he's the devil, Clex. The Bible says if they hated me, they'll hate you. Jesus said that. Jesus also said if they called me the prince of demons, how much more will they, my followers? I've been called all those things. It's because the serpent race, which is the population, hates us because once you get converted out of it then you become toxic to their system so you have to be converted to get out of here to uh, either otherwise you go to the pit your body's your prison suit before you go to the pit we're angels have i not said you are gods psalm 82 elohim have I not said you are Elohim and all of you, not some of you, not part of you, and all of you are children of Elion, the most high God, but you shall die like men. It's your prison suit. You shall fall like one of the princes. Now, y'all ready for those words? You ready for Mark 9, chapter 9? Then you're ready for some more scripture that's just going to make your head go, whoa. Okay, well, let me show you a couple things first. Ready? Check out the beard. Now, here's what the Lord just slammed home when I was when I was in Mark. Look at the way the beard was constructed. Now, I've seen this in others before, and I'm like, why didn't they just make it a whole thing? Because they had the ability to. And I thought, how weird. Why did they do it like that? You see what I mean? It's like a hole. Uh-huh. Well, you know, the Bible says in, in Job that man is a worm. You know that, right? I've shown it to you, Job 25. Let me show you a hieroglyph very quickly that was on the screen right before I saw this king's beard. Do you notice anything wrong, wrong with the hieroglyph right here? Maybe that this guy's head is completely upside down. 
See his eye, his eye, his nose, and his open mouth. And what's really fascinating is this looks like the head of a falcon right here. Going this way, like going this direction. But this guy is completely upside down. Well, look at all the Egyptian stuff is. Obviously, this is opposite direction. Look at all the stars in here. A lot of stars. I see five-pointed stars everywhere. They all look like they're right side up. They're all right side up the same. But this guy is upside down. And right after I saw this guy being upside down, that's when it switched to the sarcophagus of the pharaoh. And as soon as I saw it, I went, oh my God, it's a worm. And then I got a witness of the spirit. Remember I told you the night I got saved? The first thing the Lord told me to do was turn that tag upside down, 100% nylon. And I was like, turn it upside down, 100% nylon. That's what the Lord told me to do. Read the tags and the clothes I was carrying. They were in my hand. The Lord said, read the tags and the clothes you're carrying. 100% nylon. I said it out loud. It's like, that doesn't make any sense. He said, turn it upside down. 100% nylon upside down is no lion. No lion. You want to know the truth? You got to invert the world. Ready? Y'all ready to know that word that slammed it home so hard? Let me take you to the scriptures right now. Okay, hold on to this, guys. We're going to go to the scriptures. There you go. I'm sorry I didn't already have them open. Just bear with me and go into e sword. Get that cranked up. Hey, you guys, y'all, y'all are gonna freak out. I was like, no! This is so awesome, you guys. So here's the thing. When you know that your host body is a shell that's being used to hunt you, when you're able to really, really put it together, you know, I've shown you guys clothing lines, four hunted. By YG, four hunted, H-U-N-N-I-D. It's really hunted for dinner, D-I-N-N-U-H. The word hunted backwards is dinner. Hunted for dinner, like a set of twins. Hunted one way, dinner the other. So that's the system that we're in. One eye goes to heaven, one eye goes to the pit. That's why the Bible says in John, uh, in uh, Mark chapter 9, F thine eye be single, your whole body, I'm sorry, at thine eye offend you. The word offend is scandalian, and it means a trap stick bent sapling snare, which is a trap that turns you upside down. It says pluck it out. It's better to enter heaven with one eye than to go to the pit where the fire is never quenched and the worm dieth not. Now, here's that one word coming. Ready? Let's see. <laughs> Here we go. Here we go. Okay, let me just get this enlarged already. So here we go. John chapter 9. I'm sorry. Mark chapter 9. I'm sorry. There's so many scriptures that I've just been. Ah. Here you go, guys. Ready? 947. So if thine eye offend you. So I want to show you the word offend. The word offend means to entrap, to trip up, to entice, to sin. I'm just going to highlight those. From the word scandalian, it means a trap stick, bent sapling, a snare. Okay, a stumbling block. A, and a snare trap turns you upside down. I showed it to you in the last video. Okay, so if your eye turns you upside down, pluck it out. It's better to enter the kingdom with one eye, the one that's up, than to have two eyes and be cast into hell. Now, remember I showed you your eye is a dimensional thing. So you have one eye that goes to the pit. And down in the pit, there's you have your own personal worm, scorpion, uh, feeding off you. And then the other eye goes to heaven to a star. Okay, now watch. Ready? So, do you believe there's a serpent race hunting you? Yes or no? 
I'm showing you clothing lines. YG hunted for dinner. Uh, broken promises with scorpions on them. I've shown you guys all these women. I just showed them to you wearing dresses that are bugs. The largest altar in the world is a bug. Harvesting semen. Uh, Lady Gaga. She's in a DeAntward uh, De De video with a Lady Gaga lookalike. Birthing a locust. And on and on it goes. Women with mandibles uh, tattooed on their vaginas with bug tattoos on their vaginas with the mandibles where their labia are. The word labium is the word for lip for an insect. Go look it up. Insects' lips are called labium. Okay, now, do you believe that we've been being hunted since the beginning of time? Mm -hmm. That means there would have to be a group hunting us. There would have to be another entity or Right? Okay, you know that Isaiah says, Woe unto them. Woe unto them that go to great depths to hide their plans from the Lord God. They do their works in darkness. Now, don't, don't forget, darkness is down. They do their works in darkness, and they say, Who seeth us? Who knoweth us? Surely your turning of things upside down shall be esteemed as the potter's clay. The potter's clay was mentioned in Genesis 2 when the Lord God breathes into Adam the breath of life and man becomes a living soul. So to be esteemed as the potter's clay, you are reckoned to be that which belongs to the Lord God. Not to Elohim, but to the Lord God. I've shown you that's Jesus. I've broken down all the words and proved to you that the word, the self-existent eternal Jehovah, that's straight out of 1 Corinthians 15.45. And when you look at the word for Jesus, and you see that G Adam, Adam was Jesus' representative in the system, the first man, Adam, as Jesus' representative in the system. And then you go look up Jesus 24.24, Iesus. It says, Yehoshua, Yeho, the self-existent eternal Jehovah, Shua that opens wide. Sorry I'm spitting it out so fast, but I just want to get it out on the table. So it's all in this video. Okay, you can go find all this information. Okay, now I'm going to take a deep breath. <sighs> okay, y'all ready for that word that opens it up and makes it very real for you? At thine eye offend thee, pluck it out. It is better for thee to enter into the kingdom of God with one eye. I'm going to highlight this just to make sure you see this. One eye, the word is mono, monophthalmos, and it means one-eyed with one eye. Then having two eyes and to be cast into hellfire where their worm. It's not the worm. It's their worm. Their worm. They are the ones that have the worm. Who is they? Remember the night I got saved? I told you guys in my personal testimony, the very first thing the Lord told me to do was read the tags and the clothes I was carrying. The first one said 100% nylon. Didn't make any sense. I said, doesn't make any sense. And the Lord told me, turn it upside down. The word nylon becomes no lion. So if I turn nylon upside down on my shirt tag, it's no lion. 100% no lion. The Lord was showing me the way to know the truth of the world in that one move. 100% no lion, the truth of everything. And that's what led to 20 years of ministry. 20 years. Do y'all remember what the second thing he showed me was? Y'all, do you, anyone remember my personal testimony? I threw the next shirt down and had a triangle with an X through it. And the Lord said, the pyramid is your enemy. I was like, what does that even mean? Let me show you what it means. See the guy turned upside down? Who made the pyramids? Well, you know, we're up for debate, but who? what race was there? The Egyptians. See this guy turned upside down? Wow, it's, he's got like a big head compared to all the other body sizes. But there's an upside down guy right there. 
Here's the Egyptians. Now let's go to the Pharaoh where their worm dieth not. Let me just slide this worm right over to there so you can see the Pharaoh's beard. Why do you think that worm's going through that hole up into his face? That's a worm, you guys. At the at the at the least with their with their little triangular uh pattern on it, it's the chrysalis of the worm. You know what I typed in? The Lord taught you know what's under there is the title? A canker worm. <laughs> They're busted, dude. Uh-huh. A canker worm. Can you believe it? Uh-huh. It said canker worm. I was like, you couldn't even think that up. So, yeah, let me see if I got that title on it. Uh, maybe Dave. Uh, yeah, here it is. Canker worm. There's one of them. There's a canker worm, you guys. Uh-huh. Canker worm. There you go. I will restore to you the years the canker worm has eaten because who were the ones that ruled over God's people? The Egyptians. That's why he had to lead them out of Egypt. We're about to be led out of Egypt ourselves. The whole world is basically an invisible Egypt. Those those are our enemies, the pyramids. Now, did you notice there's pyramids all over the world? Yeah. Do you know they have the same agenda? They do. I've seen it. I've put it all together now. It's like two halves make one whole. Yeah, that's their deal. Anyway, and uh, here, let me just keep going now. So you see that? Uh-huh. That is your canker worm going right up to his face. There you go. Let me just kind of. Slide that out a little bit so let you get a little bit of a look at that. There you go. Going right up in there. That's the enemy right there. Uh-huh. And it was hard to see, but the Bible declares it. Let's go to Job 25 now. Because, see, if we're cast into hell, that's where their worm dieth not and the fire is not quenched. Look at the word there. Ready? A backwards through the idea of a baffling wind backwards. See it? Through the idea of a ba baffling wind, like a baffling wind backwards. So it's where their worm dieth not and the fire is not quenched. The Lord told me to pay very close attention. Their worm. The worm belongs to them. That's their connection to you. I told you. Well, Satan's the king of what? The locust from the pit. Why do you think the Bible says, I will restore to you the years that the canker worm has eaten? Let's go look at that scripture. Okay, pay attention very quickly. I'm jumping to Genesis 3. Ready? Ready? Uh, and he said, neither shall you touch it lest you die. Talking about the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. And you shall not eat of the tree of the garden. The word, look at the word eat. It means to eat or to burn up. See it? You shall not eat or neither shall you touch it. Neither shall you touch it. Right here, touch euphemistically to lie with a woman lest you die now because that's what starts the cannibalistic system now watch ready here we go back to joel 2 okay the word eat the word eat means to eat to burn up okay so back to joel chapter 2 here we go 25 ready i will restore to you to you the years the locust has Eaten to eat to burn up because that's the beginning of being attached to them. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> yeah, it's a bust. So, yeah, so the serpent race is the above ground humanoid looking serpent race that's attached to the pit. 
And there are those that are double downers and they're just totally sold out to Satan. God have mercy on them because their future is eternal damnation because the trap they set has become their own. But in the meantime, everyone that's a one up, one down is fair game. And they're hunting everyone they can kill. That's their goal to take out every single angel, every single one that has uh, an eye that goes up because that may means you're a star. What did Satan say he would do? Lucifer, I will arise above the stars of hell. The princes, the stars of hell. How? By my locusts eating them. That's why it says years. I will restore to you the years. You can't restore years. How do you restore years? How does something eat years? Have you ever seen that chronograph clock that I showed you guys? The chronophage, the grasshopper, the locust that's eating years. Hello. Here it is, guys. Look at this. I will restore to you the years. Look at this. Years. Okay. A year as a revolution of time. Let's see what the root of the word is. Twofold. That is to duplicate. By implication, to transmute, to double. Wow, you know what the deal is? It's the, we're talking about folding time. I know what it is. It's like a folding staircase of time with a wormhole that goes through it. Absolutely. All these concepts he's shown me now are coming together. Uh-huh. Look at this. I will restore to you the years the locust has eaten to burn up. The canker worm and the caterpillar. Look. The canker worm, and worm to lick up a devourer, a canker worm. Let's look at that. Let's look at that. There you go. Let's look at the Pharaoh one more time. There you go. Okay, now. There you go. See the Pharaoh? See the canker worm? See the Pharaoh? See the canker worm? <laughs> See the Pharaoh? See the canker worm? 350 Anacrino. It's the only way to go. It's the only way you can know this. Are y'all freaking out? I told you there's another race hunting us, but you can't see it. This is the invisible world. This is the unveiling. This is the apocalypse. The Lord using a servant to make it visible. Can you believe I had a sunglass company called Vlad Iwer come out of the darkness into the light with vampire sunglasses? I mean, really, do you know how crazy that is? Come out of the darkness into the light with vampire sunglasses. And then for me to be a vampire falling out of the sky upside down. Who could even think that up? <laughs> so crazy. <laughs> anyway, so I hope you know it now. There you go. There's your Pharaoh. That's why they were considered gods because they're attached to the pit. The worms where their worm never dies. How crazy is that? There it is. Okay, now I've got some other crazy scriptures that are just mind bogglers. Okay, so what have I told you? The whole thing is about this, getting inverted. That shows you've been converted. That's how the system knows that you're no longer part of their deal and the world rejects you and the world hates you. That's why those of us that are brave enough to say, I'm going to leave the world behind to follow Christ, everybody thinks you're nuts. Oh, you're a, cl you're a cult click? Really, because I help a lot of people out. I'm willing to give my life away for the well-being of others, not being greedy with what I have. <laughs> It's a cult. I, mean, I thought cults were supposed to like get a bunch of people and y'all all work for me. I think it's the other way around. I try and work for everybody else. So funny. Okay, ready? Here we go. Y'all ready? The high calling of Jesus Christ. Ready? This is going to be awesome for you. Ready? Brethren, I count not myself to... Uh, apprehended to take good to seize to possess but this one thing i do forgetting those things which are behind me and reaching forth and reaching forth unto those things which are before me i press towards the mark for the prize of the high calling of god 
in Jesus Christ. So I press, so I eagerly pursue, follow after towards the mark. Uh, I like this word, it's it pure about through the idea of concealment. Um, let me show you some. When we get converted, we become like a spy in their system because the system is this female twin female energy. So when you get converted in her system, she doesn't like you anymore. The system is female, but the, to be born again is male energy. That's why when you get a spiritual conversion, the world hates you and you look like you're, oh, he's lost his mind. Okay, I'm born again though, eternal life. Now ready, watch this. I press towards the mark for the prize. So the prize, an award that is specifically a prize in public games of the high calling of the high calling of God in Jesus Christ. Okay, you ready? The high calling of God in Jesus Christ. What has this guy, Jonathan Clegg, been telling you since the night he got saved? Turn it the opposite direction. Just like the word nylon, turn nylon upside down and you'll know the truth. Because nylon upside down is no lion. What a crazy way to tell his servant the mystery of everything in one tag and one shirt. You ready? Are you ready? You want you want to know how to win the prize, the high calling, the the greatest prize there is. I press towards the mark for the prize of the high calling of God in Jesus Christ. High calling. Upward. Above. High up. With the root of the word being opposite. <laughs> oh! To denote contrast or requital. Opposite. Mm -hmm. An invitation. An invitation to go the other way. They're the worms. We're the angels. The worms are attached to one eye. And you walk around everywhere with a worm keeping a record of every single thing you've done in your life. Because that worm is down in the pit feeding off you your entire life. And if you die before that thing dies, you're done. The only way to kill it is to turn back to God, admit all your sins, accept Jesus Christ. He will stand up in the midst of you. Lucifer can no longer sit in the midst of you you will be resurrected within yourself. And once that happens, then you simply await either your death where you pass from this body back to Christ or the arrival of Christ where we're all called together to meet him. Yes! The scriptures bear it out, guys. The scriptures are perfect. Do y'all understand how serious this is? And for the enemy, ooh, not good. Not good for all those people that hate Johnny so much. Really bad, as a matter of fact. Anyway, I won't gloat. God have mercy on you guys. But I get tired of it. I really do. It's constant. Anyway, can y'all believe what you're looking at? Do you do you understand what you're getting to see tonight? Do you see it? I press towards the, the mark for the prize, the award of the high calling of God in Jesus Christ, upward to the top, opposite. <laughs> okay, you ready? You ready? Y'all want to freak out? Let's go to, I think it's Exodus 5. There it is. Ready? Ready? This shows you that the Egyptians are the ones with the worm and that the breeding, the commingling with the two, watch, in the beginning, that was that serpent race. Ready? What does a Pharaoh wear on his head? A serpent. What's the other thing? A vulture death. They're death. They're the serpent race. <laughs> it's all right in front of us. Check it out. Ready? 
Look at Exodus 5.1. And afterward, Moses is there and went in and told Pharaoh, Thus saith the Lord God of Israel, Let them, my people go, that they may hold a feast unto me in the wilderness. And Pharaoh said, Who is the Lord that I should obey his voice and to let Israel go? I know not the Lord, neither will I let Israel go. And they said, The God of the Hebrews has met with us. Let us go, we pray thee, three days journey into the desert and sacrifice unto the Lord. Look at this, the Lord, self-existent, eternal Jehovah. It's Jesus, by the way. And they said, the God of the Hebrews, ready? Look at the word Hebrews, ready? A descendant. And let me, let me change the color here. Let me change the color. I'm sorry, guys. Hang on. A descendant of Eber. Okay, ready? Uh, a descendant of Eber. Okay, ready? Look at the root of the word. Eber, the name of two patriarchs of Israel. The region across on the opposite side. <laughs> Especially of the Jordan because on the one side represents God's people and the other side represents the servant's people. And we remember the... So think about the Lord taking me to a cemetery and showing me the name Gallagher. Out of all those... Out of all those headstones, he shows me the one Gallagher, descendant of a foreign helper. <laughs> uh huh. And it had Gallagher on both sides of the headstone. And he's the one that's the descendant of a foreign helper. We're the, we're the descendants of the helper from heaven. What? No one can take this from you. What the Lord's letting me give you right now, do you understand? This should increase your faith so much. You should be you know, like, you know what? This Jonathan Cleck guy's a little, <laughs> a little bit different. But boy, oh boy, does he come with the word of God. Absolutely. And anyone that's tried to come against it, they dug their own pit and they will fall into it. Absolutely guaranteed. You know how I know? Because the word declares it. The word says it. They dug a pit for us and it's their own. Amen. All right, guys. Anyway, so yeah, let's go back to the folders now. Just freak out. Oh my gosh. Uh huh. Let's see. Uh, okay. Wait a minute. I just want to make sure. Okay, now here's something else that's super crazy. Okay, this. Let's see. I want to show you. Let's see. Hang on one second. I did a video a long time ago on the Ozzy Osbourne patient number nine. And when I looked up this, I just typed that in like a vial. And this is, the, you know how many images came up that were, were this, where there was a mirror reflection of this? I mean, do you know how crazy that is? Well, you know what's really weird? Then I went and I typed in like, you know, people that were waiting in line for that. And look what popped up. This is one of the things that popped up. I was like, that's crazy because that's the same as the picture before it, if you know what I'm saying. Now, let me show you this. Do y'all remember I showed you this in the other video that M and W are opposites, man and woman are the letter W and M are exact opposites. Isn't that perfect with everything the Lord's let me show you? Well, when this thing came out on Hulu, American Horror Story, and it showed this female as a, re as a serpent, but look what's at the end of her tail. I mean, look at this. So at the end of her tail is the worm that never dies. Well, see the S and the X on her back? S is slaughter, and then... X is 24, and I forgot what, oh, with indignation and hatred and indignation. So this is the, and she's emaciated because the system itself is running out of food. That's why the Ouroboros is a serpent eating its own tail because it comes to an end. But I typed in that same thing like uh, 
people standing in line and look what came up look at this uh let me show you look from stanford's that okay but look at everybody standing in line look what it makes right here i put a blue right here and then red on the underside it's an m and a w You couldn't even think this up, you guys. I mean, you couldn't even think it up. It's insane. See the M and see the W, W, M. <laughs> and they're standing in line for that? Well, that's weird because during during that thing where I was doing patient number nine, it, you know, it, it showed me, uh, it showed me this. And I'm like, huh, that's kind of weird. Like, you know, M and W, basically. And then uh, this was what popped up. I mean, you can't think this up. I put a red line there and a blue line there. Because that's the blue, that's the red. I mean, wow. Wow. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Here's a really cool uh, thing I saw in the headlines the other day. Read it out loud. Da da and da da are part of the da 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 da. <laughs> and you know it, and you know it's true. And everyone's starting to figure it out. Uh huh. But anyway, I just had to share this with you tonight. I mean, look at this, you guys. Give me a break. There's a guy upside down. There's the falcon. Like that's his eye. That's the beak. So. That's their, I think, raw, right? Uh, and then you cannot even think that up. But look at that. There it is. That's what it is. That's why there's a hole there. I And I've seen other sarcophaguses with, like, the hole there. I'm like, why do they have a hole? Why is it like that? Why didn't they make it, like, one thing? You ever seen any guys other than the pharaohs with those ridiculous beards like that? Because it's a worm. It's a canker worm. Peace and grace. I don't know about you guys, but for me, this is more than edifying. This proves it. This is the hidden world. The only way you could see this world is to know your Bible, to know the Word of God, and to be able to apply it to the supernatural gift that the Lord God gave me. I mean, the Vatican's a snake, you guys, wearing a crown. That's all there is to it. The Vatican is a snake wearing a crown. The mouth of the snake is a vagina. End of story. I mean, end of story. How much evidence do I have to produce before it's like, okay, okay. It's like, it's done. It's done. It's figured out. The Lord told me I'm going to use you to solve the riddle of ages. And he did. All right. I love you guys. I love you guys. Peace and grace. I hope everybody's in in a positive mood. I know it's we're staring down the barrel of the end of the world. I know y'all know it. I know we're sitting here looking at, you know, uh. so anyway, don't be afraid, sheep. Don't be afraid. We, our God, our God, see, we're, our God is the God from the opposite side. That's our God. He's the eternal life God that comes into the system to buy you back. That's our God, not the God of the pit. The God from heaven that comes into a host body and buys you back because you are being fed off by a worm, by their worm. We've been purchased by the blood of Christ. And now the bear hug cult has a hug for you. That's you. This is serious. No. <laughs> I love you in Christ, you guys. Mm -hmm. Ready? Squeeze. Uh, uh -huh. I love you guys. This is exciting. Anyway, the end of the world's coming. And now we can face it with confidence. I mean, can you imagine? Can you imagine going into the end of the world right now, not knowing the truth? Can you imagine just looking at what's going on in the world and not knowing it's really the end of the world and going, oh, Oh, Trump's going to come back in and make everything great. It's like, oh, my gosh, you guys have lost your minds. There's really people that believe, oh, Trump's going to come in and he's going to fix everything. It's like, 
The Bible says don't put your trust in men. The next thing that's coming is the mark of the beast, a palisade and a stake, RFID and an injector. Man, it's I've already gone through it. It's so obvious. So anyway, all right, I'll shut up. Anyway, I love you guys. I'm very excited. I'm very excited to get to show that to you because the Lord showed it to me and I knew exactly what he was showing me. <sighs> okay. All right, guys. I hope everybody's excited. The king's coming. Be at peace. Our God is the Prince of Peace. Prince of Peace. That's his covenant with us. A covenant of peace. Isaiah 54. Okay. All right, guys. God bless you. Good night.